So at this point, I don't even know if all this is going to become an actual vlog or not, but I figured I'd record it just in case I decide to do that. So after 16.2 uh, was completed last week, I uh, got a little bit of a stomach bug, nothing bad, just kind of, you know, ended up spending more time in the toilet than I really wanted to. Uh, the unfortunate side effect of that was that I, um, I ended up having a hemorrhoid flare up. Uh, I have had hemorrhoids for years and years, really since I was a kid, but it's kind of gotten progressively worse over the past couple of years, and I'm sure, you know, all the lifting and the other hobbies I have don't really help that much. Um, and this one turned out to be particularly bad. Uh, it was pretty disabling. Um, you know, it's taken quite a bit to just sit up to shoot this right now to sit normally. So I decided, I saw a doctor, um, went to a surgery group and decided that I'm going to go ahead and go into the knife tomorrow morning to get it taken care of hopefully once and for all. A hemorrhoidectomy. Uh, I'm going to go under general anesthesia and they're going to cut out the offending tissue down there. So I know it's all pretty gross. I fully understand that. Um, maybe not what everybody tuned in to uh, a vlog about lifting and throwing and being a dad for, but I'm kind of battling with the idea of whether I'm going to talk about this or not. Um, I do believe it's important to not always show the stuff that makes you look cool. Uh, it's important to chronicle all the ugly stuff, but I'm kind of Still at this point, as I'm filming right now, I'm still trying to decide between like, are there things that should be private and things that should be for, you know, entertainment. Um, so no matter what, it's going to happen though. Uh, I'm probably going to end up missing 16.3, uh, you know, unless it's, you know, how long you can hold your breath. Maybe I can do that. Uh, I am traveling to California next weekend. And there'll be a lot of activity there, and I kind of had to make the call as to whether I thought I would recover um, just normally using medication and time, or whether you know I'd be able to recover from the surgery enough. I think I'll be recovered enough from the surgery. It's a pretty fast recovery. Um, I'm hoping I am, so I'll be able to you know be active and have some fun out there. I'm going no matter what, but um, it will certainly make conversations interesting out there. Uh, the nice thing is. You know, in general, in my personal life, you know, being 36 years old, my level of care about if people think it's gross or not is basically zero. So I don't have any real reservations about telling people what, about what's going on with my butthole. I apologize to everybody that's had to deal with that in my personal life. And if I decide to publish this, I apologize to you. But hey, it's part of the deal, right? So catching up on some vlogs, uh, just watching Meg squats. She is a friend of Hate Brand Goods, awesome chick. Meg, congratulations on your performance at the Arnold. She went nine for nine, hit a bunch of PR, so super proud of her. Uh, check her out, she's got an awesome vlog, um, especially if you're a girl that's powerlifting, she's an awesome one to follow, really inspirational. So I will make sure to link her below. So as I sit here in my, I guess if you wanna call it a pre-surgery depression, you know, another thing that keeps creeping in is that I'm taking a trip to California next week for Hate Brand Goods. We're going to be at um, Jesse Burdick's powerlifting meet at CSA. And I'm going to meet a lot of people that I respect a lot in the strength and fitness world. A lot of just awesome people that I've wanted to meet for a while. Um, get a chance to hang out with them. But if I'm honest, it kind of sucks that I'm going to meet all these people and I'm not going to be at 100% most likely. You know, we all have this kind of hobby and this lifestyle in common of lifting, training, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, there's a good chance when you're hanging out with that group of people that that kind of stuff, lifting, training, is going to happen. Just kind of a bummer that I might not be able to participate at all, or if I do, I'm not going to be at 100%. You know, obviously, we're all human beings. We're not just lifting machines. There's more to us. That's not the sum total of who everyone is, just lifting weights. You know, there'll be plenty of, plenty of interesting things to do to talk about, and there'll be lots of common ground. I mean, we can talk about having butt surgery, so that'd be cool. Bittersweet, downtown collectives and city lights, sojourns and so on, but I miss my baby boy's eyes. Bittersweet, arteries hardened and everything, and there's no tomorrow. But I miss my baby boy's eyes I miss my baby boy's eyes
miss my baby boy's eyes. I miss my baby boy. I miss my baby boy. I miss my baby boy. Just woke up from anesthesia about 10 minutes ago and now attempting to get dressed, sit up, and stand up. I'm not supposed to be standing up without help. So it's about uh, 8.30 at night now, and really nothing much going on except just laying whatever position I can that's comfortable and trying to heal. Just waiting for the body to heal. The procedure went great. Um, I was in and out really fast. The surgical team there was just fantastic and really on point. Uh, the, anesth the anesthesia was administered perfectly. I mean, I was out in a flash, no memory whatsoever. Woke up in recovery. Had a little bit of a hangover from it for a while, I guess you can call it. I you know, hang, had a headache and a little bit of upset stomach, but that's to be expected. But they managed it really, really well. Um, got a prescription for pain meds for hydrocodone. I'm a little hesitant to take them. Um, you know, I, I feel like ibuprofen, Tylenol pretty much do the job pretty well. The nice thing about the hydrocodone is it'll make me a little bit sleepier and I'll be able to rest a little bit easier since sleep schedule's kind of been messed up and everything's weird right now. Uh, I am eating um, sparingly here and there. Just got a giant milkshake from P. Terry's um, right as we were leaving, so that was pretty nice. Got through an upset stomach to make that happen. But uh, I'm looking forward to get back to eating. Just watch the open announcement for 16.3 as well and of course it's two movements that I'm pretty decent at so I guess I'm gonna miss those this week and it's a seven minute AMRAP not 20 which as we discussed shorter the better for me so still in recovery mode I'm up and moving now uh, just barely kind of hobbling I look like a really really old man when I move more than usual but uh Still pretty uncomfortable. I'm, I stopped taking um, the hydrocodone that uh, the doc gave because it just slows down my digestion and it, I'm just worried about it backing me up. You know, constipation is a nice side effect of opiates. So, I mean, I just moved to Tylenol and ibuprofen and it's working just fine for the pain. I mean, look, it's going to hurt. Um, I think a big part of having any sort of procedure within, you know, certain 
bound within reason is that you have to realize that it's going to hurt and be okay with that. And I think that's a big mental hurdle to get over that kind of helps you and recover a little bit more if you just realize it's okay to feel pain and that's your body sending you a signal and it's going to suck and just get through it. So that along with getting stuff in the mail also really helps. So kind of breaks up the boredom. I've been stuck in the house all day. So this showed up today. I'm pretty thrilled about. I got my new vlogging microphone. The Rode Video Micro. So day, I guess, two of recovery, or two days out from surgery. I'm able to move around a little bit, but not for very long, but I'm pretty stoked on a lot of the new camera gear that I've been stockpiling. I have packages arriving to keep me interested and, you know, give me something to do. So, got the new tripod, very stoked on. It's the, it's the Joby Gorilla Pod, it's hugely, Huge improvement in design over what I was using before. It's just so cool to use stuff that's designed well. And then got the Rode microphone up top, directional mic. Should improve sound quality. Don't have the cool uh, 70s, 70s Bush style windscreen on there right now, but we'll get that on there probably when I get outside. Hey, this is Mike from the future. Uh, one thing I neglected to mention in all the clips preceding this was that we had a camping trip planned um, basically we were supposed to leave three days after I had the operation so we were kind of up in the air whether we were going to do it or not I was feeling good enough so we went ahead and just went through with it it was camping which involved um, basically borrowing someone's RV going out and parking it and having a campfire and being near sort of like a camping resort so you know pretty glamorous camping glamping if you will all right, we have arrived at the campsite, Canyon of the Eagles near Burnett, Texas, and we're ready to rough it. It's a microphone. It's a microphone. Mm -hmm. Can I see? Fuzzy, can I, can I, can I see? Can you just talk to it? Hi. That water, just above ice water. Felt fantastic. Jesus ain't a friend of mine. He's never given me a sign as he's sorry. They say I'll be. I don't remember what I thought. I can tell you how you want to live your life. It doesn't seem right.
All right, we are wrapping it up. Three pretty solid days of relaxing with the family, a little bit of recovery. Feeling pretty good. Had a lot of fun. The kids are now playing with their toys at the picnic table, and we're throwing trash away, getting packed up.